Yo guys, welcome back, and today we're going to be talking about Shinonuma. Uh, if you enjoy, please like, subscribe, and yeah, then get, let's get into it. So, Shinonuma is introduced into Vanguard Zombies in Season 4. So, Shinonuma is not a new map, it, is, it was in World at War, uh, Black Ops, uh, and BO3, I believe. There might have been another one that I forget, but uh, anyway, it's been in quite a few cards, and this was Treyarch's grand return to um, RAM based from... The sort of things they're starting at the beginning with the um, Terra Mal Maledicta, I, I don't know how to say that, and Duran Fang. Uh, and yeah, oddly enough, despite the zombies community being the most toxic, which I still stand by, by the way, this was actually very well received from what I can see. Which is quite cool, actually, because, um, yeah, as I said, the God community. God? Uh, God community, I'm sorry, uh, doesn't usually. Um, receive stuff like this very well, um, as I'm sure you'll all agree. Now, this is interesting because, personally, this has to be semi, and I mean only semi here, hopeful that Vanguard Zombies could have a redemption arc of sorts. Now, yes, I know some people will never forgive it for the way it released, which is, may seem a bit harsh harsh um, language-wise, but it's a core community, uh, which... which um, Makes sense, I guess. I mean, I understand people don't like Duran Fang. Personally, I didn't like it myself. Uh, I never played the Terra Maledicta. I, again, I don't even know if I'm saying that right. But anyway, um, in the blog post from Treyarch about Shinonuma, Treyarch implied that they were going to make more classic maps, which, uh, let's say, I reckon the one that will still be... The next one will probably be released by about Season 5 Reloaded, if I had to guess, because um, that's usually how it used to work anyway. Like, <laughs> I know this is a bit of a, um, uh, like, off topic here, but remember when everyone was getting mad? So, basically, if you don't remember Cold War, um, the first map that came out was D-Machina, which is the first map. And then after, in about season one reloaded, I could be wrong here. Um... Um, Firebase Z or Z, depending on the on where you're from, I guess, uh, came out, and then after that, uh, Mao the Totem came out in season four, I believe. So, um, because in season two, Outbreak came out, which yes, I understand it was originally marketed as a mode that became a full on um, map. I get it because uh, I remember there was a massive debate. Is um, it was something like is 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 outbreak dlc2 which to be fair i actually personally think it was like there was way there was a lot of content especially by the end and i would say it was definitely worthy to be like a second map uh but i'm sorry for that tangent um if you enjoyed the video please like subscribe and comment your feelings on the video i have honestly enjoyed um shinonuma um and yeah bye